really simple one. It's to talk about our ideas and how they're different. And so as you work on your research and as you work on figuring out how you're going to come back and how you're going to win the, the gubernatorial election, for instance, I have a suggestion for you, or, or whether it's a congressional race, because some of these issues are federal, I have some three suggestions for you as to what I think you talk about when you talk about our ideas. The first is Medicaid expansion. Kansas, like Missouri, is a state, for us it's because of the legislature, uh, for you it's because of both the legislature and the governor, you've not expanded Medicaid, right? When you explain to people, and it doesn't take long, it's a sentence or two, to explain to Kansans, or in our state we've proven it with Missourians, because in Missouri it overwhelmingly polls that people want Medicaid expansion. When you tell people what this issue is about, they think that the Republican position on it makes no sense, because it doesn't. So 96% of the money will be put up by the federal government to pay for Medicaid expansion. And as a result, more Kansans are going to get health care. And by the way, the money that I'm talking about is taxes that Kansans are already paying. There's no, if you don't expand Medicaid, you don't have to pay for it. No, the only difference is you pay for Iowa's Medicaid, right? And, and, and for you know, all the other states, the 26 states that have expanded Medicaid, you're paying for them to do that. So you may as well use those same dollars and have them come back here, right? It seems like a no-brainer. It clearly is not a no-brainer to some of the Republicans in Topeka, right? And I don't get that because, folks, this is the best deal that Kansas has seen since the federal government bought your state from France for three cents an acre. Right? It's, it's the most obvious thing in the world. Okay, And when you explain that to Kansas, they're going to agree. And I think, if it were me, my argument would be, let's be honest with what's going on. We should say that not liking the president very much or being afraid of losing a Republican primary are morally bankrupt reasons to deny health care to the working poor. Right? They are morally bankrupt reasons to do that. And that is the argument that I think you should make. You should talk about that idea. 